We need to talk. Like one of those late night conversations from over the phone. Ones that only get interrupted by the first rays of dawn. Let's discuss the elephant in the room. One that nobody foresaw. Because powerful chess pieces like to hide behind the front line of pawns. Such inequality has us torn. But justice never sleeps. It's always kept awake rehearsing words left to speak. Questions need answering. Broken promises regrets. Like a persistent cough, <clears throat> we need to get it off our chests. That's why we need to talk. Because our future's on the line. But who will answer tomorrow's call and it always calls on time? Dialing our conflicting digits. Observing our hidden metrics. The future's neither bright nor is it orange, my friend. The future's always hectic. Yet it's serendipity's ever present in our tech. It's more predictive than our text. If I've got one foot on land and one foot on water, the future prescripts my next step. Hmm. Let me move queen to b6. That'll put white in check. I'm sorry. I'm trying to recreate a classic game here. Picture this. Springtime in New York. May the 4th, 1997. An IBM computer called Deep Blue plays against Garry Kasparov, international chess legend. This was the second tournament game. Kasparov had won the first, but this encounter changed AI's history forever because the roles became reversed. Machine could now innovate an advantage by evaluating the data that it observed. Kasparov in an outburst. Suggested foul play. King to F1. Rook to B8. He claimed that the moves that Deep Blue made were too human for a computer to ever make. Rook to A6. Kasparov resigns. Game. But many years later he would come to say, we must face our fears if we wish to get the best out of our technology. And we must conquer those fears if we wish to get the best out of our humanity. Okay, back to the present day. And we have to look ourselves squarely in the eye and examine the broken mirror and see the lines that still divide. The distortion of our reflection. The ancient cracks deeply embedded. There's no one algorithm that can heal the schism and bring society together. So transparency is only effective. If our institutions want these problems to be solved, the future of our recovery lies in our data skill, but human policy must evolve to see the bigger picture. This is our planet and we live here. And that toxic thinking planted long ago is still polluting tomorrow's rivers. For this is the time of decision. The future's already arrived. If COVID-19 has taught us anything, we either help each other or we die. We either build or destroy. Suppress knowledge or use it to elevate. But until the data conversation truly starts, we'll just play out our own. Checkmate.